back to my channel. My name is Denny. If you're new here, thank you for stopping in. And if you're an oldie but goodie, welcome back. So today we have our May empties and we have quite a bit of things. So I don't know how many of you know this, but last month for May, I was doing 31 days of masking. So every day I did a new mask. So we're going to have a ton of masks. And I don't really know how to distribute that in this video just because, I mean, we had a lot of masks. So I'm going to start out with the products and then we'll talk about the mask last. In my usual style, I like to go through and tell you all the products and then at the end, I will tell you my totals for the month as well as the entire year up to date. So. We'll start out with some soaps. These are my usual soaps. These are from Arm & Hammer and you already know that I use these so we have two of those. We also have some soap for ya undercarriage and this is from Vagisil. This is the White Jasmine. I really like the way this one smells. I enjoy it and would repurchase that. So we already know the other ones are repurchases and um, we also have like some mouthwash. That's just a staple. This was the Equate spring mint nothing fantastic there uh we also have okay we have here the righteous body butter this one right here is from soap and glory used all of, oh there was a little residue there so um we used all of this and i absolutely love this body butter because it's one of the more nourishing ones i'm currently using another body butter that i received in a ipsy and i'm not loving it as much as i do my righteous body butter so um this is definitely something that i might get in the future again then we have um cotton rounds I always get cotton rounds from the dollar store these days so uh we have one empty pack of that uh we also have here some hair products this is from mark anthony and this one right here i cut it i always cut these in half this is the dual styling defrizz lotion and defining lotion so basically it has my favorite um it's like cream and custard so it has both of them in one and it's like a cocktail so it has the way this is set up it has like the two little areas where you can squeeze and you can distribute uh the product however i don't like that the um lotion is a bit more like is it the lotion or the cream yeah the lotion is a bit more runny and the cream is thicker so i mean i like them in combination i just don't like them separately so this right here is something that I would definitely pick up again just because I do love Marc Anthony products and I enjoy ex especially the defining cream. That's like my favorites. And uh, we also went through a Mario Badescu uh, facial spray. This one was in rose water. I really love rose water. So currently um, I am using one from Soe in its place because I had that as a backup. And I'm really liking the Soe one as well. So this, um, I, I mean, I usually go for this one and only the rose. And then we have a couple of deodorants that my husband used up. He has a Degree, he has a Dove. I don't know which one he likes better. I mean, it's whatever's on sale. So he always has some form of deodorant. I do have an Urban Decay All Nighter uh, spray. This is a... Um, you know makeup setting spray this is in their really old packaging i had this for quite a long time and uh towards the end it started like giving me a weird itchy reaction so i did have to discontinue using it but i did get through a whole lot of it so um this is definitely going away and then we have here oh okay we had a conditioner from john frida this is the sheer blonde and you guys already know that i went blonde earlier this year and i'm trying to keep up with it but i do have some roots at the moment so uh to remove the brassiness that you can get from blonde i have the toning conditioner from john frida and their shampoo but the shampoo doesn't i don't use that as much as i do the conditioner so you guys already know another staple here at my house is some nails we went through how many packs six packs of nails it tells you how much i like to switch out my nails it's not that they don't last well i will say um these was it these i can't remember 
these lasted a whole long time the but these okay so these didn't last as long on my nail bed i don't think i like filed them correctly uh but the other ones did and then i just got tired of looking at the same print so yeah we just have several different nails um in both like pointy and regular short nails so i mean nails <laughs> Then we have in here a uh, Crest toothpaste. This was a mini toothpaste. We had taken this for vacation and then when I brought it back, we ended up just finishing it off. I really like the 3D Radiant Mint. It's one of my favorites. And then uh, we also have in here from It Cosmetics, it's the CC Cream. It's in the light shade, which I really like using this a whole lot. I think I have uh, one now for um, the summer, which is in medium, and I'm going to be using that shortly. Then uh, we have these All May eye makeup removers i had these from a while back i had coupons a whole bunch of them they're now in a different uh little pot they i guess like they changed the labeling on them so they're just like pads like uh if if you remember like uh, i don't know oxyclean pads well so they basically look like that but they're just to remove makeup and this one had an 80 count which i use i really like uh when my when i have really tough eye makeup i like to just take those out put them right on top of my eyes just like set them there wait a couple of um like a minute or so and then i start wiping them and then the makeup comes off really easy so then i have here another body butter this is the uh sol de janeiro coco cabana cream and this was one of their newer scents I have a love-hate relationship with this scent because for me it smells like popcorn and it does not smell like coconut. So, I mean, if you want to smell like buttered popcorn, yeah. But I don't always want to smell like food. So, I, that's an issue that I have with that one. Alright, and then what do we have in here? Okay, so we have here th this sad attempt of a, like, what what, are, what is this thing called? The makeup eraser? So, a while back they gave us these little sample swatches, like carpet swatches of this guy and i held on to it i used it i ended up getting an actual makeup eraser so i don't need this anymore because i have like a actual one uh i mean why would they send like a carpet sample anyway i also have here from pure the volume vixen mascara this is the four in one mascara i was using this and you guys already know that i don't like to use mascara for more than a month this one still has longevity in it but just to be safe and for my eyes to be good i switched them out so um i did really enjoy this mascara and it, I didn't have any flaking, I didn't have any like transferring, and it did really volumize my lashes, so I really liked it, and I wouldn't mind getting it in the future. Then I have another hair product. This is a hair mask. This is from Whole Blends or Gar Garnier. Why am I saying Whole Blends? Anyway, this is the Garnier Fructis Whole Blends in the coconut oil and I've been masking a lot not only on my face but also in my hair just because I noticed that like sometimes my hair could it just feels better when I mask so um did this I have a bunch of them because they came in two packs from the dollar store and if you haven't seen that video I posted a video of the new things that I picked up at the dollar store so if you want to see that it'll be linked above for your viewing pleasure then I have here another hair mask it's from Suave and this is the deep conditioning mask almond and shea butter and this one I really liked a whole lot also got this at the Dollar Tree love it when I can find a really good thing there so then we also have here the curly curl enhancer this was another not a mask but it's a product that I found at the dollar store to help with your curls or like to activate your curls and make them a little bit more curlier I mean I feel like it was a little gimmicky um not really running out and rushing out to get this and it is what it is uh, then we have here oh 
this is like my holy grail now. This is the Aussie's Miracle Curl Leave-In Detangling Milk. I love this product. If you have not checked out this product and you have curly hair and uh, you have trouble detangling it, I mean, this right here is the best. I've gone through uh, this. I'm going on like my third bottle of these. So love it. And I'm going to continue buying them. Then we have a sample of the Dior Joy. I ended up using that up. I don't remember how I felt about this perfume. I mean, it was it was okay. I'm not running out to go get it at the moment. I did feel that it was a nice, like very feminine and sweet perfume, but um, not running out to get it. So you have that. Then what else do we have in here before I get into the mask? Okay, we have here from CoverGirl. This is the Perfect Point Plus Black Eyeliner. And these were those like retractable ones. And yeah, we're done with this one. And also done with CoverGirl for some reason. Because we never talk about CoverGirl. And they I feel like they haven't been doing anything exciting lately. So we have the next product which is a beauty blender this one right here was from ulta and i mean aside from it just being raggedy i i feel like it's a really hard it's like a harder sponge so i'm trying to eliminate like things that i don't typically gravitate to and yeah this is a sponge that i don't gravitate to because of like the dense hardness of it we also have here, we have something that's not completely empty. It's a little makeup pot from MAC. And this was the, it was a cover-up. And this was a NC30. But um, I went to go use this. And this right here has little bumps inside of it that just like look disgusting. Like if it grew something in there. So not safe. Throwing that out, pot and all, just because we need to be safe with our face. And then we always have some Bolero wipes thrown in here. We had here the French Lavender Citrus and these other ones that were Hibiscus Pink Clay. I mean, I just use these to wipe swatches and I, I like them. So for that, if anything. Okay. Alrighty. So uh, let's see. Did we did we come to the mother load? We are at the mother load. <laughs> All right, so we have a lip patch from So A, which I thought was, um, it was fine. I don't know how I feel about lip patches. Like, are they necessary? Probably not. We had some Wander Eye Patches. I love these patches. Uh, tested out this mask. It was like a applicable, like, a clay mask from um, Uncle Bud's, and it's supposed to be, like, organic hemp oil. I really like this. My face felt really nice afterwards. Innisfree, this one was a good one. Pixie liked it a whole bunch. But I think this made my skin purge. Uh, we had an animal one. This one's like a shark one, which is like baby shark. Anyway, um, this glow one, which I felt like uh, it was okay. It's from Bath and Body Works. We had from Soe the um, black charcoal one. Uh, we also had a French lavender. These are all gooey. A French lavender herb one. This uh, creme shop one. This one was shaped really odd. It, like it had flaps and it was just like cut wrong. I just, I don't like the way it was cut. A very fun hologram mask. Uh, we had some exfolio because you know I love exfolio. Um, this chocolate mask that didn't smell like chocolate. <laughs> Uh, these Yada Mask, I like Yada Mask. Um, this guy right here, let's talk about this Bolero Mask. This thing burned my face and made me red and rashy and I will not use another Bolero Mask because of this. So, don't get your mask at the dollar store if they're Bolero. Anyway, we have this Mustas one. This one was a good one. Um, Rose was a good one. Ceramide um, from Tony Moly was a good one. Uh, Witch Hazel one was a good one. Oh, we have a hair mask in here as well. This was the, uh, these are new from Hask. These are the Unwind. And it's a hair mask, a deep, deep conditioning. This one really smelled good. It was Pinot Noir. It smelled so good, like berries. Um, for some reason, I think it smelled like strawberry. But 
yeah like that a whole bunch too okay and this one was a fun one from Friedman uh, this mask was a Indian turmeric one and it had like a pad that you had to like wipe your face down with and then you would put the actual mask on and I thought that was really cool then we have the body shop this was the Japanese matcha tea one this one was a good one we also had another fun one this was um, from pure Aurora and it was a cosmic hologram foil mask which was really fun uh, Pure Lease was a good one. Maman was a good one. Pharmacy, this was this is always a good time. I love gel ones. Um, we also had some an avocado one. That one was fine. Uh, this uh, gold lifting one that was not gold at all from Skin Planet. Oh, um, we had some Global Beauty eye patches, and I really like the way these felt. They were green, and, and I like them. So then we had this peach mask from Bling Pop. I thought that one was, it, the packaging is very fun, and it smelled like peach, but I don't think it did anything. Then we had another uh, set of eye patches from Spa Life. Uh, these were like so-so. Stop the Clock um, from Leaders. I thought this one was good. It just kind of, um, I think it purged my skin as well. Uh, then we had this one from the from Face Story, the Vitality one. Let's talk, and it had pomegranate in it. It was good. Um, I mean, I don't have anything bad to say. So my husband did one as well. He did the yes to for men, and uh, yeah, I, I think he liked it. And then there was another lip patch, and this one was from Global Beauty. I like this one because it had it's lit in the front, so you can like breathe and talk. And uh, yeah, and then last but not least, the last mask of all was the Shake Shot from Dr. Jart, which people think this little face is kind of freaky. Um, I really like this. I got these at Marshalls on sale for like $5.99, which was like a super steal. I ended up finding some more, so we have some more of these to go. That was everything that I had in my empties bin. Ooh, okay. We talked a whole lot. All right, so let's get to totals. My total for the month of May was $275 with 67 cents. And year to date, we used $1,197 with 17 cents. That is a lot of using and mostly, um, I mean, most of that, the bulk of that was on those face masks, as you saw. We're, and we're in the six month stage, so um, we're shortly reaching that goal of almost $2,000 spent. Hopefully, I think that's what I said that I would do. If not, it's like 3000 and I'm just like halfway there. But we have the rest of the year to complete that goal or to achieve it. And I think that I have been using a lot of things uh, besides the stuff that was empty so that we can have some more empties going forward. Anyway, if you enjoy these empty videos, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also enter my giveaway, which is going to be linked down below. And uh, yeah, thank you for stopping in. As always, from my house to yours, love ya.